Uh, when we look at the returning players on this team, you know, I think you can probably pencil in yourself, LeBron and, and Anthony Davis into the starting lineup. Have you gotten any sense of what that first unit's going to look like and how will the continuity between you three guys help uh, the entire team moving forward? Uh, well, to answer that question, no, I have no clue. Uh, like every, like, the practice that we had, he missed up the lineups, both uh, first team and second team. Like, every, like everybody's been all over the place. So there's no real clear, um, you know, who's starting, you know, like how it's going to look this season. Dan Wakey, please. Hey, CP, what's up, man? Hey. Um, how much pickup did you play between the end of the bubble and the start of the season? And, and yeah, but just how much did you play? None. I, I went. I went home. Uh, you know, I'd been around the family, my kids that I I didn't see for almost three months, uh, and basically just went day by day. Uh, I thought about getting in the gym because we're figuring out uh, us playing. You know, uh, season starting this early. You know, uh, I think I didn't get touch of basketball until I got back to LA. Uh, and then just started doing some, like individual workouts and stuff, like just to get back in the regimen uh, and the rhythm. Uh, but no, nah, I didn't touch a ball at all once I left the bubble. Did uh, do you want to play more in the preseason than maybe normal because of that? Uh, I would love to, you know. Uh, but I'm just, you know, uh, I'm just really trying to stay healthy. You know, it's a marathon. You know, I don't want to just jump back in real quick because we just ended almost six weeks ago. Uh, so I'm not really trying to jump back in there. I'm just trying to make sure I get my body, you know, uh, you know, back to where it need to be, you know, uh, get all the injuries and like everything else, you know, uh, 100% before I start like, you know, playing and giving it my all. Let's go to Brad Turner. KCP, um, what's it been like either playing with Marcus Saul in these practices or against him? And how different is he from Bell and from Dwight? Uh but he's been great. You know, he's he's you know uh just been playing like how, how he plays, you know, uh just bringing that talent to uh to the organization. Uh and I feel like he's he fit perfectly, you know, uh he's He's basically doing the same as Javale and uh, Dwight, uh, but but a little more. You know, he can shoot the ball in that mid range. You know, very efficient, uh, efficient there. You know, screen and roll, like you know that that help us. You know, pop, uh, pick and pops. Uh, he's mixing it up a lot. You know, and he's showing us a uh, little bit, little bit of everything. And right now, like he's he's been he's been been amazing. Good up, Bill Moran. Thank you, Davis. Happy birthday, TC. Um, have you, um, have you, does it feel like the start of an NBA season to you? I mean, it's in the middle of December. You haven't had your normal anything. Uh, like, does like, the energy feel like it's the start of, of a, a new training camp and a new season, or is it out of whack? It's, I, I feel like it's out of whack. No, no one is really, I think, mean, it don't even really feel like training camp right now, I would say. You know, it's just like we hear. Uh, kind of practice, you know, uh, we got new guys, which we we are uh, doing a lot of teaching. Uh, but I feel like it's just a normal day of practice because of how the, you know, the time period we didn't get off, you know, we got to start back right away. Uh, but I just feel like it's just a normal practice. All right, Bill, thanks for that kind note. Let's go to Melissa Roll. Happy birthday, TC. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, KCP, I'm wondering, considering this season is not being played in a bubble and we're still in the middle of a pandemic, how much pressure does that put on guys, like, also monitoring what their families are doing, like, talking to their wives and saying, like, hey, should you really be seeing that friend? They're pretty high risk. Or, like, how much pressure does that put on families in general? Uh, it's going to be a lot of pressure uh, because, you know, we did get the memos, uh, and one of the things that was on there were, uh, if your kid have games during this time, we can't uh, attend it. You know that's gonna be hard. You know, for guys that like support their kids in the basketball and like, anything else that they do. 
know, outside of their home, it's going to be hard trying to uh, support them doing that, you know. And then having a conversation with your wife about her friends, that's more stress. You know, it's, 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 it's a lot, you know, but I, I figured, you know, uh, since we're back working, you know, I, I figured that the conversations and like the time that we hang around friends and stuff will be limited because of our job and like the memo that we have. All right, we have time for a couple more. Let's go to Alan Sleewa. Hey, KGTB. Um, hey, just want to see if you can maybe compare coming into last year training camp uh, compared to this season. I'm talking about more just specifically yourself. You're coming off obviously a great season. Now you got the security of the contract. You're a champion. Is your confidence coming into this year significantly different than it was last season? How would you kind of describe that? Uh, I would say it's the same. I know, man. I mean, my confidence was real high last year. Uh, just to start out how I wanted to start out. Uh, but this, but I finished it, you know, to the best of my abilities, and you know, came out on top. Uh, and this season, it's just the same, you know, I'm got the same type of confidence, but maybe even a little higher than what it is uh, from last year. But uh, I'm I'm tremendous, like confidence in myself, uh, the ability, what what I can do, uh, and what I bring to the table, uh, and I I'm ready. Uh, I've been ready since the bubble. <laughs> That's the end of the bubble. Perfect, Dad. Last question. Let's go to Claudia Jestro. Hi, Kentavious. Happy birthday. Um, how much of an advantage is adding guys with experience and how much it will help to get you guys ready fast for the new season? Uh, I think it's, I think we're going to be ready uh, sooner than, than expected uh, because of the veteran guys that we did bring in uh, and Mark, uh, Wes Matthews, you know, and then the younger two guys we have, Dennis and uh, and Trez, uh, I feel like it's going to be, you know, as quick as possible. You know, the, uh, them guys know how to play. Mark has won a championship with Toronto, uh, so he has that, that mindset and that mentality already. Uh, and the other guys are just hungry, I, I would say. You know, they, 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 they want that, you know, that title. You know, they want to come in and prove themselves. Uh, so, I mean, I, I feel like that chemistry is going